Greetings, dear friends. I present to your attention the most common malfunctions and breakdowns that occur on the Kia Soul. The suspension resource directly depends on the quality of the roads. It's a pity that it works at the limit of its weight and doesn't really like any overloads. For example, quick trips on dirt roads and broken tracks, as well as the driving with a full load. In this case, on the rear axle, both bumpers and shock absorbers mounts and the springs themselves are severely affected. The rear beam doesn't like side impacts, this is typical. In the front, the struts and bushings of the anti-roll bar turn out to be rather weak, but the resource of the sudden blocks and struts is not outstanding, usually not much more than hundreds of thousands of mileage. Shock absorbers lose their properties up to the first 50,000, although they can last four times more until a leak or complete failure. But the handling of a car with the partially functional suspension will be far from the best, and in fact it doesn't shine even on a new car. It doesn't allow such dangerous effects as it was with the first Solaris, yet there is a different setting for shock absorbers and other springs. But its manner in extreme modes can hardly be called noble, and without ESP, you need to be careful while driving. Most of the drivers are unlikely to notice that the reactive action on the steering wheel, reinforced by the EUR, is too artificial with the excessively clamped zero and poor sensitivity in the middle corners. At the same time, not very comfortable carrying a bunch of unnecessary road trifles to the steering wheel, but everything works very reliably. If you don't kill the car purposely and don't put on especially low-profile tires, then by 200 plus mileage, the maximum that awaits you is a hint of backlash. Steering rack knocks are rare, and the rack itself is inexpensive. The main thing is to prevent damage to the anthers and the ingress of moisture inside. Pay attention to their condition when inspecting for maintenance. On the machines on the first releases, there was still a failure with the shutdown of the EUR due to the mismatch of the sensors, but now this problem doesn't occur. The machines are strictly front-wheel drive and the units used were previously encountered on a huge number of Korean-made cars. Manual boxes 5-speed M5 CF1 1 for gasoline engines, 1.6 and 6-speed M6 CF1 for all others. There are also two automatic transmissions, a 4-speed A4 CF1 for the base 1.6 and a 6-speed A6 GF1 for 2.0 cars with a diesel engine. The resource of the constant velocity joints and drives is average. They are unlikely to pass more than 200 to 150,000, but by today's standards this is not bad. It's a pity the splines of the drive shafts sometimes corrode and they turn them. The problem is rare and usually when viewed from below, prerequisites for such a development of events are visible in the form of rust streaks. The reasons are unclear, perhaps insufficient lubrication, forcing deep ports, unsuccessful repairs with dry shafts or something else. Although the trouble is not widespread, it's worth taking the car on a lift. Its solution is expensive. Surprisingly, this is not the most reliable part of the car. 126 horsepower 1.6 engine for a 5-speed box turned out to be redundant. The boxes often cannot withstand prolonged high loads and the differentials are folded at a time. Just the 5 step is unified with a 6 step and in theory you can even add the 6 gear to the housing, but its shaft are weaker and the bearing work is work conditions. It's recommended to change the oil more often and forget that the mechanics are eternal. The 6-speed manual gearbox is stronger and although it can also be broken down, for example skidding hardly in the winter and thereby weld the differential pinion axle. But usually it runs for a long time even with 2-liter engines, only after 200,000 it starts to hold and reduce the quality of the shifting due to wear of the synchronizers. The 4-speed automatic transmission of the A4 CF1 series is one of the most reliable gearboxes even found in the second decade of the 21st century. The design worked out over the years, leading its pedigree from Mitsubishi boxes and the relatively low roll from the 1.6 engine allow you not to worry about its fate up to at least 200,000 mileage. Rare failures are mainly associated with wiring and sensor problems, less often with solenoids, but if the oil was changed at least once every 60,000, then the chances of breakdown are minimal. For neat owners mm, who do not allow overloads, change the oil on time and do not overheat units, the automatic transmission lives much longer. Solaris with these boxes with half a million runs come across in a taxi, but in real operation there are racers, twisted runs and dirty radiators. 
Usually, first of all, the blocking lining of the gas turbine engine, the oil seals and the seals of the box, as well as the axles of the planetary gear satellites suffer. Holding or bumping when shifting usually indicates a fairly serious wear problem, unless it's a breakdown of one of the speed sensors. The 6-speed gearbox A6GF1 is the same as on the Restyle Solaris. Its version on the first generation Kia Soul refers to the early versions, reversions of the unit, which suffered from both assembly errors and well body settings. Most of the gearboxes in which the underdrive hub bolts were not fully tightened and the first problematic revisions of the valve bodies were applied did not reach the mileage of 120-150 thousand kilometers and have already been repaired or changed. Be careful with low flow 2 liter cars produced in 2009-2011. You may come across a variant with a surprise that didn't undergo the necessary repairs. Weak clutch packs 35R and 26 are also one of the childhood diseases associated primarily with the wear of pistons and teflon wings when working with dirty oil. The well body design has six linear solenoids and these have been gradually upgraded as have their wiring. Even with a normally working mechanical part, they are wear as is a matter of time. After restyling, cars in general have more streamlined box options and in the last years of production the box has become noticeably better. But still, it loves the driver too much, and as a result, it overloads both the mechanical part and the torque converter. And it also requires much more frequent oil change, once every 45,000, since it very easily contaminates it during overloads and at the same time is extremely sensitive to its purity. If the box is late, it was not overheated or maintained normally, then the upper limit of its resource is about 350,000 km. In Russia, the Kia Soul is found mainly with the 1.6-126 horsepower engine, with which the car was sold before and after restyling. Engines 2.0 are less common, now they are already of two completely different series. All engines are supplied with weak radiators, very disliked by our road chemistry, vibrations and rarely replaced antifreeze, as well as not particularly durable engine mounts, weak catalysts and rusting exhaust by 5 years. All this is a trifle except for the catalyst. It usually begins to crumble and send dust to the piston group after 150,000, but there are also instances where problems appear after 50,000 km. Be sure to look into the hole of the first lambda probe. Even a small cavity in the surface indicates that the catalyst must be urgently changed or at least removed. A relief that the piston group is worn out by an abrasive. This is especially true on cars with a manual gearbox and a 6-speed automatic gearbox. The fourth stage breaks the engine less aggressively and there are less risk of collecting dust in the engine. The 1.6 GF4 C-series motor is well known from Solaris. The first Soul has a version with one phase regulator. The motor has proven itself to be reliable, powerful and very economical. If the catalyst doesn't fail or if the power supply system fails due to wear of the fuel pump or intake leaks, then the main risks are the wear of the timing chains with runs of 150 to 100,000. It happens then they stretch to 100,000, but such cases are rare. Early engines had knocking problems due to an unsuccessful tensioner, but this is now irrelevant. Seizures of the piston group are rare, mainly among those who like to press the gas to the floor before warming up, fill in cheaper oil and 90-second sec gasoline well on among the lucky ones who allow the destruction of the catalyst. Under natural conditions, the oil appetite of the motor usually grows after 250-350 thousand mileage. Also, older cars show leaks of oil seals, gaskets and the flow of oil into the intake through the crankcase ventilation. Minor problems in the form of floating speed damage to the coils, timing noise due to violation of valve clearance are also present, but they can be easily and inexpensively solved. And the last interesting fact, the G4 FC is one of the few motors on which non-original catalysts are found, and they're very affordable by the standard of this part's price of about $150. Consider this point if you are an advocate of ecology. Better second family engines 2 liter G4GS, which are found until the fall of 2011, are pretty nominally reliable. The timing drive is belt driven here. There is also a chain and intercept chain, but its resource is 205 or even 350,000 km and it will warn about its wear with a loud sound during operation. Catalyst problems appear much less frequently than by 1.6. 
In fact, on the problems with the engine, oil leaks with runs of more than 200,000, a flanking crankshaft pulley and outgoing valve clearances, check them at least sometimes. The control system is somewhat dull, you should not rely on electronic brains in case of problems with loss of traction and triple action. You can finish off the iron of the motor. The G4 KD engines of the Tata second family are completely different. They are more powerful and more economical than the old ones, but less reliable with a high risk of piston group scuffing. It doesn't always come to knocking and a strong increase in oil consumption for waste, but endoscopy of engines with runs of literally 13,000 km shows that the initial stage of seizures is already present. In most cases, the problem is detected by the knocking of the thirds and fourth cylinders and the increased oil consumption. Some lucky ones whose problem is already noticeable on endoscopy, but the knocking is still implicit and the oil consumption is minimal, can reach 200-250,000 km in this mode. Something similar is found in Volkswagen CFNA, CFNB engines on old Polo sedan. But for those whose operating mode turn out to be less successful, they usually start a capital account for runs of 90-120,000. And this is correct, since the knock and oil consumption can eventually turn into a first friendship under load. Contract motors are not cheap and unpredictable, so capital is the best choice. Repair usually costs 120-150,000 rubles because a complete replacement of the piston group is required. There are no standard repair sizes, but there are repair pistons for Mitsubishi engines of 0.5 and even 1 mm, so a choice usually arises between a sleeve and a boring. The last thousand is 2030 cheaper. It is interesting that motors after such a repair often serve more reliably. Usually during the repair process, the thermal gap is set at least 300 of a millimeters as required by the documentation for the repair pistons and many also try to empty the oil nozzles that are missing from the block or install connecting rods from the G4KR motors, on which has a hole for supplying oil to the piston, well or modify in this way relatives. Leaving aside the clearly unsuccessful piston engine, the motor is not so bad. The chain resource is stable, 150 to 100,000, the price doesn't bite, the phase regulator for this generation is already strong, the oil pump will throw Balancers is successful, the oil appetite due the coking in general wear increases only by 300,000 mileage, and under conditions of intensive operation the motors can pass up to 500,000. This who bought a restyle sold with a 2-liter engine, which has not yet capitalized, but does not knock, can be advised a set of preventative procedures. It's necessary to monitor the cleanliness of the radiators, put a color thermostat which earlier opens a large circle, use the highest quality oils and change them at least once every 10,000 km. And of course, the no 92 gasoline racing ambitions, LPG and similar excess. On this information about the problems of Kia Soul is exhausted. If you know more or do not agree with what you heard, I'm waiting for you in the comments.